What's up AUDL fans, Daniel Cohen here with another Tiger Bomb Film Room. Today we're going to be looking at an end of quarter defensive strategy used by the New York Empire in the 2019 championship game. In this clip, the Empire pull to the Roughnecks looking to prevent them from converting their extra possession in the first quarter. The zone look the Empire use here starts with the positioning of the pull, and Marquez Brownlee angles it perfectly just a few yards from the sideline. Having the disc on the sideline limits options for throwers because it essentially cuts the available throwing lanes in half, compared to the middle of the field. To set up the defense, you'll first see Albert Alarcon hustle down the field to set up on the handlers. What's notable here is he doesn't set a mark on Dalton Smith. Instead, he's going to take away inside throwing lanes by positioning himself several yards off of Smith. Now without a mark, Smith doesn't have to throw within the usual 7 seconds. The Empire are basically saying, hey, take all the time you need, have any throw you want, we're going to cover all the immediate options so you have nowhere to go. So Alarcon first takes away the immediate look to Abe Coffin, who is going to be Smith's first option. As Coffin looks for an upline cut, Alarcon passes him off to his teammate Mike Drost, who sees the cut developing and sprints down to his position on the sideline. Using this initial combination of Alarcon and Dross to take away the surrounding area around Smith takes precious time off the clock without the Roughnecks making any downfield progress. Now on the other side of the field, you'll see handler Henry Furuta start to come back for a swing option once Coffin has to clear out. Now because Alarcon is playing Smith at a 45 degree angle, about 5 to 10 yards away, he's able to take away more throwing angles than he would have otherwise had he been closely marking. He's almost baiting that throw to Furuta, staying between the disc and the receiver to force any throw to curve or maybe float a little too long and allow him to make a play on it. With the close options not looking great, now Connor Olsen begins to make his way towards the backfield. But Brownlee has set up in the short middle space to take away any options there as well. The Empire also have Jack Williams to help closer to the sideline, which allows Mike Dross to be a little more aggressive cutting off throwing lanes as he closes in on Smith. This unique zone look from the Empire just completely disrupts the Roughnecks offense. The clock winds down and Smith is forced to put up an attempt to the end zone without having gained a single yard on the possession. The throw of course comes up short, and the Empire keep the game tied at 7 to end the opening quarter. Thanks for watching everyone, and be sure to join us next time in the Tiger Bomb film room.